Final day. How are you feeling? I've I have felt worse. Yeah. On a final day. But I'm not gonna say the body's. It's not perfect. Everyone is probably getting a little tired. My legs are not that bad. They're okay. But I mean, it's the last day. How much money did you make yesterday? What was it? Two, three, six. Yeah. Uh, four. Okay. It's a good day. Mm -hmm. Gonna make more money today? Yes. When we, when we came to Madison, we did uh, a little practice swim right there. It was full of seaweed and it, the water was not flat at all. And I was like having the worst swim day of my life. So like I was nervous as shit coming into the Sunday. He, he started us like right on the bank, we run in. <clears throat> 10 guys just like diving in the water, but I just felt in control of the whole thing from the get-go. When we got to the buoy, I went up and then I saw Fraser's face. And I knew that he was in front of me in the beginning, but I had caught up. And that like really motivated me to like go hard on the way back. I think I got fourth place in that event right after the, the Aussies and Noah. Noah used to do water polo, so he's a really good swimmer. I was ahead of Fraser, I was ahead of everyone that I needed to be ahead of. I thought to, I thought to myself, like, Dave, fuck you, don't, like, don't bring so many points still. Like, don't, like, really, seriously, are there 300 points left? And I really wanted to think that this is the final. But I, because I was like getting a little bit tired, I didn't want to like, I, I have the lead, like this is how it should be. Don't like give him any chances to like come back. And then I was like a little bit anxious or stressed out about the, the assault bike itself because like I haven't like had a great like assault bike experience. I've been training with Frederick a lot and he's great at the assault bike and usually beats me in a workout where it's assault bike calories. I just went straight to the assault bike and hammered the first 30 calories. We obviously saw the first heat, so we kind of knew what times we needed to beat. But I could like feel it right out the get-go that I was gonna beat that time, no matter what. Like I was gonna, be, I was gonna get the first first place, or I was gonna beat like the first heat that did this workout. Jumped straight up. I was ahead of Fraser. Like I was the only. I, I was probably the first one to the rings. Except James Newbury, which went totally nuts on the bike. Uh, and then Fraser came with his whatever he always does. But I was still so close to him and I could see Noah behind me. I could see Scott Pansy behind me and like all those guys. So that just really motivated me to keep up that same pace and finish. I just, yummy. Yeah, my coach said to myself, like, after the first one, this is what we have been doing. This is just interval style. Like, this is the training plan in general. You just have to go to the rings. You do, like, a very quick cycle time on it. Like, be precise with touching the rings and then get straight to the barbell. Expect the legs to feel shitty. And I just expected those two workouts because they were so fast and so lactic to be even worse than they actually were. And I like was listening on my left ear like a little bit, and then no, I was getting no wrapped on the rings. And then I just thought like, okay, let's go, let's try to chase Fraser. 
and I, like, I was really close. And I'm like even like I'm 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 so much closer to him now than I have been in the previous years. It felt, the weekend just felt like this. We started, it was done, down. I wasn't gonna finish out, outside of the podium. That wasn't the option. But it felt, it felt great. Like getting that goal, not being like fifth, not being sixth, fifth, whatever, like top 10. Like I've been, I'm so tired of that stuff. I think that me and Fraser are getting like closer now than we have been in the past. I think he respects me now, and he's just said like, good job, man, like, it's very impressive. And um, like, he like, I think he likes competing against me. Chris uh, fucking said it. Going kind of well. Jeez. Did, did you believe in me? Yeah. You did? Yeah. I think... What do you think of uh, Noah's performance? I think it's been a long time coming. I think he has just made some uh, mistakes throughout the years and let that get got, like that got to him a little bit. But now he just kept his head in the game. I think that's the main difference because he was always fit enough. Yeah. But now he was just in the game. What do you think of the programming? Programming is probably good. Like it's just the cuts that are like a little spicy, okay? Yeah. But programming overall is like yeah. it's good. I mean, I'm 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 racked no matter what he's gonna program. Yeah. What are you going to do tonight? What's that? What are you going to do tonight? Party? I'm going to party hard. And then I'm going to Chicago for four days, and then I'm going to Mexico for a week. Yeah. With friends. That's going to be fun. Coming from Iceland. Ah. Yeah, we'll take one day. Let's go. So, so. Is the stuff in uh, his car. Yeah. Oh, feels good. What's up? Because yeah. I like I feel in 16 and 17. Now I'm 17 and 18. I feel like it should have been there. There were just things that held me back a little bit. Because like I had issues with the body. Yeah. So I couldn't show up on competition day thinking I'm gonna go all out. I woke up and I thought, 
you know, the knee might not hold up. Yeah. Hopefully it holds up instead yeah. of just showing up for perform. So showing up to a competition in 100% shape, mentally ready. Then I just I just knew like in the beginning of the competition that you know, I'm gonna stay and I stand on that podium yeah. again. Absolutely. Oh, man. How's it feel? This feels very well deserved. I'm really happy that all the hard work back in a basement in Kveragerði, Iceland has been paying off. You know there's a thing, there's a saying from a triathlete called Lionel Sanders. Yeah. He says, and I've been like, I used to have like words during the season. So like back in the day, like 15, 16, I would say to myself like Björgvin, like my name never stops like that would be like a saying that to motivate myself yeah. in, in like dark times in a workout or something but now it's don't give them nothing take it all you know it, it's never going to be perfect but you can try to make it as perfect like yeah But you. But, but definitely the fittest one. Like Matthew Fraser, just. He's an absolute unit. He's very impressive. And I really enjoyed competing against him now. He's kind of a, kind of a champion. Like he. Uh, I think he ha like starts to appreciate me a little bit more now. Because yeah. I am like at the top there. I've been competing against him a couple of times. Like. He probably feels that I pay a big respect yeah. for him. I have a big respect for him. And, uh, so he's been like a little bit more talkative this year since Dubai, basically. He's a super athlete. He's, um, but I feel that I'm getting closer and closer. Are you going to win the CrossFit Games one day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's 100% because I wouldn't be doing this. Like I would not be doing this if I didn't believe I could.